there was a recent box of Magic of the Gathering cards that sold here recently on eBay for like 5000 bucks, And it looks like it was a scam. And I'll show you here this listing real quick. But this seller out of Wisconsin here sold this box of 90, 1990 cards of Magic of the Gathering uh, for 5000 bucks. And one reason I got into this, here's another picture. One reason I got into this is my daughter uh, wanted some Magic of the Gathering cards for Christmas, so I bought her uh, a few things off of Amazon and eBay. Here's like one of them. But um, nothing that's of great value because they're manufactured new, um, probably this year. Or the Some cards were from the mid-2000s, but for the most part, you know, they're the newer Magic of the Gathering. So I thought, hey, I'm going to go on eBay because I've heard of people talking about how expensive these cards can get are really valuable, especially from the 90s. So I was looking up and I saw this one here, <laughs> this picture of this of these Magic of the 90s Magic of the Gathering cards just thrown in a box and it sold for a whopping 5,000 bucks. Uh, so as soon as I saw this picture, I'm like, I'm a little bit skeptical of them just throwing the cards in here like that. And you can see there on the right, there's some that's bent. So if you look down in the description, this is what the seller put. And by the way, you can tell the seller doesn't have much feedback. Right now they got a negative one. You really want 100 plus. You want to really buy from people with at least 100 feedbacks. But then negative one means that they got negative. And then this here, 40% positive, means that 60% of the comments are negative, which is not good. You really want 100% positive feedback if possible. So this seller says, box of random old magic of the gathering cards, mix of alpha, beta, unlimited, etc. Ship with USPS. I'm selling my old box uh, of magic cards I used to collect and play magic in the 90s when I was young. Didn't even know my card still ex existed until cleaning out junk in my parents' house I grew up in. I've been out of the loop, but I know the old cards can be worth a lot in mint condition. Sadly, these are not. I could probably get more for them if I looked up and posted each individually. But I haven't the time nor the desire to do so. Uh, may these cards bring you joy that they use to provide me. They are in fairly good condition. None are damaged. Okay. So, a lot of red flags here. So I go to this person's feedback, the seller, and the buyer of this box has already received it and left feedback. Let's see what they say. So this is the seller's feedback, and automatically you could tell, uh-oh. So 5,000, here's the actual feedback for this box. It says, sold fake vintage collection, try to refuse return, buyer protection needed, which is eBay offers a buyer protection. Um, so if you get junk, you know. But here's the thing, it dinged the, the, the buyer's account for 5,000 bucks. So... That's a big deal when you give someone 5000 bucks. Even if you eventually get it back, it could take two months, you know, going through PayPal or the credit card or whatever. And it's really frustrating, right? So, obviously, whatever this, whatever this, um, and we got two more, two more uh, that this guy sold. Uh, card is fake. Demonic, Tutor, Beta, Magic, The Gathering. And then another one is Beta, Magic, The Gathering, Force Field, HP. And he tried to sell both of these for over 200 bucks. Well, when you use the count, you know, the gig's kind of up when you get one because most smart buyers will look at your past feedback and they'll be like, this might sound too good to be true. But now let's face it. If you're buying from somebody that's got a thousand positive feedback with no negatives, they're going to trust you to buy to spend $5,000, right? So that's why when I buy on eBay, I'm always weary of who I buy from. And if they have like only less than 10 feedbacks and I'm buying something of really big value, I don't even waste my time. Because it's not just, I know I'll get my money back. It's just the time spent to try to recoup my money. So look at these pictures. And if you're going to ask $5,000 for something, you at least take more pictures, right, of each individual card front and back. I know maybe you can't take a picture of all these. So what this person did was is they bought 
these reproductions that Magic of the Gathering offers. Please, people can explain to me how that works. I know Star Wars and a lot of action figures will do that. They'll they'll do new versions of it years later. But tell me how you identify if it's a new version or if it's from nine or the nineties. I'm assuming that they would have the dates on them, right? So whoever this idiot is that sold this, uh, probably on there it's got 2013 instead of 1993 or, you know, some newer cards that he tried to pawn off as being more expensive. So I'm sure you guys can tell me in the comments section what do you look for to see what's fake and what's not. But uh, for this person to think that they can get by with it, you know, and look how crummy these pictures are. Like, look at this guy's hands. You know, it... And look, there's a, a like a worn out target bag behind them with a with a jug back there. Do you see there with the with the water jug? This crappy. Uh, these pictures scream, "Hey, this is a scam! Please be aware not to buy from this." But um, so me and my daughter were just collecting for fun, and we're going to start playing uh, some Magic of the Gathering. And uh, her, it was really fun. She loved playing it with her uncle, and her uncle's in his forties, so it's kind of, kind of cool to, to play something that's n new and unique and not that expensive to play. All right, cards aren't that expensive, but you can search out what the most expensive Magic of the Gathering cards are. Let's look in eBay real quick. And what you do is you just search Magic of the Gathering, and then you go over here to Advanced, right here on the far right advanced and then you go sold listings what they sold for right and then I'll go search and then what I'll do oops I forgot to type magic of the gathering here let's type magic of the gathering and then we'll go sold and green means it's been sold right red means it didn't sell so these are all are sold and then we'll go highest first so the highest set sold for $32,000. One card sold for $32,000. It's the 1993 Magic of the Gathering Beta Black Lotus. And this actually was graded by PTS as an 8.5 out of 10. So it's not mint, perfectly mint, but still good, right? And let's click on it and see what the seller of this card says. Had 41 bids, so he put it up for auction instead of buy it now. 41 bids, and interesting. This it's not a seller feedback. It's actually probably done through on eBay through PWCC auctions. So I think they do through more. They go through more steps to make sure it's a reputable item. They probably PWCC probably takes possession of the of the card or the item and then sells it, so you know it's reputable. And you get a lot more money that way. Uh, wow, sold for thirty-two grand. So that's an leg legitimate bid. Uh, let's see if there's any more. This one here sold for thirty. This one doesn't look like it was graded. Black Lotus Alpha Limited. I'm thinking from ninety-three. Uh, and the seller's got two hundred twenty-three positive feedbacks, no negatives. This, this is probably a legitimate sell. And look at that. Black Lotus. And you can tell it's not mint, right? Look at the edges of it. Wow. 30 grand, guys. Let's see what the description says. Black Lotus Magic the Gathering. Very fine condition. I have personally bought this card back in 99. That originally, the original authorized Magic of the Gathering shop. I have put it special nylon case and it has been protected and never played since then. Because of the rarity of this card, I could only verify the authenticity of the card. About the condition, please check the photos of the actual item. I wouldn't like to, to uh, char characterize it as excellent or good because it is because of the, my personal opinion. Wow. Here's more pictures of it. Yeah, you can tell it's far from mint, right? But it looks like a really honest, good seller. And you see how he got each in this individual card out and took so many pictures of it. That way someone can't bait and switch you on eBay. Like if someone's buying it from you, 
they, it's harder for them to bait and switch. Um, and w regardless of what people say, there is protection for sellers as well. If you're a reputable seller and someone would, and you were to sell this card and they took it and then they try to swipe it off with a fake or not even return it, you have protection as a seller through eBay too. Uh, eBay's been good to me the last 20 years I've used them. Anyways, I just wanted to ask y'all's opinion about what you thought about that box of fake, fake cards. And, um, what would you do if you paid $5,000 for a box of fake cards? Yeah, I think you'd be pretty upset. Alright, thanks for watching.